The dreams of a little boy to sit in the bleachers and catch that prized foul ball as he stands with his face pressed up against the fence, baseball cap on and glove in hand. He dreams of the day he can put on the real uniform and step out onto the field with the big guys. Before he became FSU's starting first baseman, that little boy was John Nagalski. It was like a dream come true, honestly, because, um, you know, growing up, I was always kind of around the team and coming to all the games and stuff, and you always, you know, think about playing here and hitting a home run here and having the fans, you know, call your name and stuff. Um, so to have that dream become a reality was pretty special. Now his name is the one fans cheer on at Dick Hauser Stadium. His hard work and determination has paid off, and now he can wear the number three jersey with pride. I mean, he's one of the best hitters I've ever played with. Even first base was just all-around player. He's, I really have never seen anything like that. He's just, he's amazing. Hard worker, um, self-driven, wants to be good. He's worked hard on his body. He's gotten a little bit faster, lighter on his feet, which improves his defense. But um, you know, he's very demanding of himself. Competitive. Nagalski has proven to not only be an outstanding player on the field, he is also a leader that his teammates can rely upon. He's great. I mean, he's a, he always calls himself a clubhouse guy, but <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, he's, he's awesome on and off the field. I mean, he, me and him hang out all the time. We go to lunch together and just, I mean, he's a great friend. Everybody likes Nogo. Um, he's got uh, some leadership skills. He's got a little bit of a, a dry sense of humor that uh, is pretty good at times. He thinks he's funnier than he is, but uh, there's times in which he does come up with some good stuff. And Nagowski used the summer to become a better leader and polish his game. Summer baseball leagues give college athletes a look at how life would be like in the major leagues while giving them an opportunity to perfect up their skills. Uh, it's a chance for the guys to get off and play. They play every day. Um, they live with a host family generally, and uh, it's a great time for them to get their body in, in condition, but also, you know, play. It's almost like a pro environment. You know, you're playing every day and you're working out during the day and you play at night, so it works out good. Second baseman John Sansone had already signed up to play summer ball for the Amsterdam Mohawks of the Perfect Game Collegiate Baseball League while anxiously waiting to hear if Nagowski would join him for the summer. When he told me he was coming, I was actually before I knew he was coming, I was kind of nervous and wasn't sure about going. And then once he said he was coming, I was so relaxed because he's one of my best friends on the team. So I knew it was going to be a blast having him up there. And it's awesome just because, you know, you're playing every single day, so you can try stuff that maybe, you know, you don't really try in a big series against Clemson or, you know, NC State or something. Um, so, and it's just a chance to get better. Um, and the fans are great. I think we had 3,000, like, every night. We got to play every game at night. And it's those experiences that helped Nagowski develop leadership skills that would help the Seminoles in 2014. When the season starts, I don't set personal goals for myself or, anything like that, I know that if we win a national championship, everything's going to fall in place. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, that's what we all set out to do, and it hasn't changed. It's something that no one's ever done here. And I think for this group in here to say that we were the first team to win a national championship, I think that's, you know, that supersedes any personal goal you could ever have. With his eye on one prize, Nagowski and his team have the mentality and talent to achieve something no one else has done in the program history. I'm Hillary Borden for Seminole Sports Magazine.